I'm Dave Rogers. I'm a New York based neo contemporary artist. And you describe yourself as a neo contemporary painter. So you're not just contemporary, you're neo contemporary. Can you explain a neo contemporary? What is that? You know, I have a problem with the contemporary art world. I mean, it's it's not set by artists. It's set by galleries and, and curators and critics. Mm -hmm. um, you know, before contemporary art world, the art world was set by artists. We told people what we were going to do. We told people who we were. And now it seems like artists are trying to fit into a mold. You know, and yeah. I'm not down for that. I, I, I'm myself. I, I, I want to be what I want to be. Okay, nice, nice. I definitely respect that. So um, explain um your medium real quick, and I see, um, a lot of your um, images, your subjects are um, is music. A lot of musicians. So the connection between music and art. Why do you choose those certain subjects? And um, w explain your style and craft. Um, well, I'm an oil painter primarily. I also do some sculptures, but mostly oil painting. Okay. And a lot of my work actually is influenced greatly by music. Um, you know, I, I had a lot of great masters throughout time who who were influenced by music. I actually, when I was younger, I was interested in being a musician, but I'm not good. <laughs> so we all had that dream, but you know, it's not there. Okay. Um, okay. Next question. Um, recording artist Nas Nasir Jones. He's the face of um this company. Um, it's a razor company called Bevel. Um, a high-end brand of um, like clippers and uh, men's care kind of thing, and they have this new like technology of like a, a razor coming out, and it's like a two hundred dollar like clipper, or whatever. And he's like the face of it. Why you don't see so, uh, uh, a Shepard Ferry? You know, you, well, you kind of do now, Shepard Ferry. He's a little more commercial. Um, but why you don't see uh, say a Shepard Ferry like selling uh, you know a Toyota or whatever? You know what I'm saying? But you see like mu musicians, they're like the thing. Thing about the art world so like people it's funny because there was a time when visual arts was actually above performance art and above musical art and now it's like a reverse um, in our society we, we seem to tend to go geared more towards like performance art than we do towards the visual stuff mm. um, you know but there are so many artists out there but also you have like um, they're out there in your face. They have songs. They're on. You know, there's there's award ceremony. I mean, how many award ceremonies do we have per year? There's like twenty award ceremonies per year. Yeah. You know, with all these artists walking the red carpet. You know, where's the award ceremony for the visual artist walking down the red carpet with his painting going here? I am. <laughs> I'm so and so here. There's none of that. That's you know? true. So, they do have award. So there are artist awards, awards, but they're kind of boring. Like artists win. You know these, you know these uh, kind of you know snobby awards or whatever, but it doesn't have the same cachet. You know, is it behind doors? You know, yeah. I win grand sometimes. You know, and like there's no public notice. They're not going. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna yeah. do a red carpet event. <laughs> we're gonna have a dinner. You know? <laughs> yeah, a party. There's none of that. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely right. Uh, yeah, visual arts are, are um, not as out there as performance art. You know, mm. when I talk about performance art, I'm not talking about, yeah, you know, I'm talking about actors, I'm talking about singers, you know, um, they're cutting records, and there's, but they're also, they're selling to millions and millions of people. You know, you cut a record today, you can download that to three million people tomorrow. Just like a painting. I don't have three million people buying, buying my painting tomorrow. Mm. It's just not happening. You know? mm. So they want someone who the public really knows and is out there. Makes sense. Sad. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I think it, once again, everything comes down to what's trending. Because it's not necessarily just a, um, an artist as Nas, someone who's legendary, who you see and you're like, oh, you know, people want to do that. People want parts in that. You have, you know, those artists who are just like Vine famous, you know, mm -hmm. who are also doing it. So I think it all just comes down to what's trending and what's popular, you know. Um, I see styles of art where... It's, I see work that's absolutely amazing. It was this guy who used to live in my neighborhood who does paintings where they literally look like photos, that they were so great. But he doesn't get as much recognition as somebody who draws, you know, stick figures of people humping each other on Twitter, you know? <laughs> it really just depends on what's trending. Like, it seriously comes down to what's trending. That's true. That's true. I don't think it even differentiates between visual artists and music artists. It just really comes down to who's trending, what's yeah. popular. You know?
Hey guys, thanks for watching the show. Please hit that subscribe button. See you next time.